Hi, how are my friends today? It's so good to see you all. How are you? I painted a duck. <laughs> it's the top view of a duck, see? What do you think? I think that's gonna be really fun for somebody to find. So today, I have a story for you because Piper told me a story and she's sort of the star in the story. <laughs> so I hope you guys like it. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful dog. I mean, this dog was so pretty. She went to go explore and the first place that she went to go explore was the upstairs. So Piper was checking out the stairs and at the top of the stairs was a cat. And Piper was like, hmm, should I go up these stairs? But eventually she did and she went straight into the teenager's room. And the dog said, my name is Piper. I'm going to live with you guys. And the teenager said, cool. And Piper said, what's your name? And the teenager said, Jason. And Piper said, is there anything interesting in your room? And Jason said, yeah, I have turtles. Would you like to meet my turtles? And Piper said, oh, yes, 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 yes. I want to meet your turtles. And Piper watched the turtles. They were pretty cool. They were, they were swimming and they were very neat looking turtles. And then Piper said, I really like your turtles, but I have a question for you. Jason said, yeah, you can ask me a question, but first I want to show you, this is how the turtles eat the little dried worms that I feed to them. And they really snap at them. It's very cool to watch when they eat. Sometimes they accidentally kind of snap at the glass. They're very silly little creatures. But yeah, what's your question, beautiful dog? And Piper said, yes, they really are so cool. This is so exciting. Thank you so much for showing me your turtles. I love them. And Jason said, sure. What is your question? How cookie is your turtle? How pretty is your turtle? How fat is your rat? How fat is your rat? And Jason said, well, now that you mention it, my turtle is pretty darn kooky. He eats dried worms, dried grasshoppers, and little pellets of food. And sometimes he goes up on top of this little area right here to bask. And he tries to nip at the glass all kooky. Uh, uh, kooky, kooky turtle. So Piper left Jason's room and she went down the stairs and she went exploring a little more and she went across the street and she saw a house with all kinds of kind of like farm animals and things and she saw a very nice lady and the nice lady said oh hi there what's your name and she said my name is Piper and the nice lady said what a beautiful dog you are and Piper said oh Thank you. My human said that I'm beautiful too. And my human said that you're going to give me a bath later and cut my nails and take care of me. And the lady said, yes, I am. My name is, is Diana and I am going to do that. And while you're here, would you like to see my chickens? And Piper said, yes, I would love to see your chickens. As a matter of fact, I was noticing them while I walked up. They're so cool. Look at all my chicken friends. <laughs> well, hi. They're so beautiful. And Diane showed Piper the chickens. And Piper said, these are so cool. And I have a question for you. He pecks at 
my toes and he walks around like this he is seriously a funky little chicken so then Piper continued on her way and she went down the street a little ways and she came to a very beautiful house with gorgeous trees, gorgeous flowers, and there was a stream very close to the house. And there was a very nice lady there. And the lady said, well, hello, what a beautiful dog you are. And Piper said, thanks, <laughs> my name is Piper, what's your name? And the lady said, my name is Linda. And Piper said, I love the ducks in your stream. They are so fascinating. And Linda said, well, would you like to come over and take a closer look at the ducks? And Piper said, I would love to, thank you. So Piper came over to the ducks and she said, wow, these are fantastic. They're beautiful. I love the noise they make and they quack so cute. And Piper was loving these ducks. First, she saw a whole bunch of really beautiful white ones. And then at a different area, there was a family with a whole bunch of cute little baby ducks. It was so cute to watch them. They were so adorable. Hi. It was fascinating to watch them swim and play. And then she said, I really am enjoying these ducks, but I have a question for you. How fancy is your ducky? How fancy is your ducky? How big is your pig? How big is your pig? How fancy is your ducky? How fancy is your ducky? How big is your pig? How big is your pig? Is your pig? <laughs> and Linda said, my duck is pretty fancy. Each duck here is so beautiful and wonderfully made and very detailed, intricate feathers and different colors. They are all, I would say, fancy ducks, indeed. And Piper, the beautiful dog, said, what an amazing day I had. The end. Hi guys, these friends of mine are gonna show you how we feed Squiggy. Okay, who wants to go first? <laughs> you? All right. He put the whole thing in his mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Is that funny? Okay, who's next? Me. Look at that. No, she's evil. He, he's putting the whole thing in his mouth. You know why? He's saving it for later. Okay, your turn. Wait, how does he do save it for dinner? He puts it in his cheeks. See how his cheeks are real fluffy? Yeah, it's so fat. Like, <laughs> kind of like a chipmunk. And then later he's going to eat it. Oh yeah, I see that. They can't do that. Nope. Can you tell? <laughs> Lenny, go on your wheel. Show everybody how you go on your wheel. Okay. Hi, honey. Let's go on your wheel. He wants me to pick him up. Lenny. So these are our hamsters, Lenny and Squiggy, and hamsters store food in their cheeks. Way deep back there in their cheeks, they store nuts and seeds and these carrots and cabbage and all these different things we feed them. Sometimes they eat it and sometimes they store it for later. Is that good, Lenny? Squiggy, 
you want some cabbage? Hi, Kipper. Hi, Kipper. He's gonna put the whole thing in his mouth for later. Kipper. Hi. There you go. Well, oh, that was short. That was short. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Who do you have there? She's so little. Don't be so small. Oh. Squeaky. What do you think? Squeaky. 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 Else. You guys, if you want to participate next week in the craft, it's going to be a super cool project. You're going to need cardboard, just like a cereal box. Actually, one cereal box or one pancake box will make two projects for two kids. So cardboard, tin foil, Sharpies, yarn, any color of yarn, it doesn't matter, and glue, white glue like Elmer's glue. Okay, so if you guys have been enjoying these videos, could you please share with your friends or family or anyone you think would also enjoy them and let them know to subscribe so that every Tuesday, new, new videos come out every Tuesday, you guys, and then all of you could watch together. And I just really hope that you guys have been loving them. Let me know in the comments, okay? Remember you are special, remember you are special, yes, you are unique. There's no one else that's like you, there's no one else that's like you. You are a friend to keep, never forget that you are loved. Reach for the stars, my sweet friends, reach for the stars, my sweet friends. Dream bigger than the sun. Hold your head high and shine bright. Hold your head high and shine bright. Smile big and have some fun. Never forget that you are loved.